everyone. Another episode of Catch Not Fish. Wow. Sometimes when I just want to relax and chill out, I just sit by my fish tank and I just enjoy my buddies, the beautiful colors and just the amazing underworld. It seems like everyone has their own personality and like my family, they named this one Star. And it's an upside down catfish. They named uh, Fat Daddy. And this catfish, they named Mr. Whiskers. So, yeah, so today's topic, uh, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my uh, pattern, trends, uh, tips on what I do to always ensure that I have made on hand. And I know a lot of my videos uh, recently that I recorded, I was talking about sheep's head, sheep's head bait and such. And sheep's head is a, a, a fish that my family and I truly enjoy catching and enjoy harvesting to eat. They're so delicious. And um, as I have told you, the fiddle crab in my opinion, are the best bait to use when targeting sheep's head. They're the best bait, although they're very expensive. So at the bait shop, you can sometimes spend 30 plus dollars just for a quart of fiddlers. And if you get on a good bite in the moment, sometimes you'll go through those fiddlers so quick because that's why they call them convicts, because they steal your bait. So, today's video, I'm going to be showing to you how you can always ensure that you have fiddlers on hand, and how I house them. And this video is going to be amazing because I did a little bit of scouting uh, yesterday. I know a lot of times when people take on projects, you know, they'll go out and about to the big box stores and make big purchases. But earlier today, I was watching Richard Gene, the fishing machine. He's a YouTuber that I enjoy watching. I enjoy his channel. I enjoy his content that he puts out. And he was fishing for red ear or shell crackers, little type of panfish. And he was using one pound test line. And he stated, no, you do not need to use one pound test line, but he enjoys using one pound test line uh, to give himself a challenge. Because if anyone knows anything about fishing, one pound test line, I mean, you horse the fish the wrong way while you're fighting it or any type of wrong movement, you'll break the line off. And he stated he enjoyed using one pound test line just to give himself a challenge in the sport of fishing when he's fishing for panfish. So, for example, if you were fishing for large mouth bass and thick lily pads, you would not use one pound test line. You would make sure you probably gonna use uh, some tough monofilament or some heavy duty braided line. So when you set the hook, you can horse them out of the lily pads, get them out of there because with for example, one pound test line is going to break off. It's not even a fight. Um, it's an unfair advantage. So, I'm going to be explaining to you how I house my fiddler crafts and so I always have bait on hand. But the new uh, housing that I use for my fiddler craft, I'm going to call it the Ritz Carlton. So, I have never stayed at the Ritz Carlton, but my wife was explaining to me that that's kind of like the top tier of uh, hotels. So I am going to be creating sort of a rich carton for my fiddler crabs while they are uh, in the garage ready to be used on our next sheep's head adventure. But I did a little bit of scouting and I found the materials that I needed and also the Aquarium that I, I'm using for them, I found it on uh, Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to put a picture of the aquarium 
with the lid and how much it would cost if right now you would drive to PetSmart or Petco or Walmart or any type of uh, pet store and make a purchase when you can easily keep your eye open for good deals that are coming out and about. So I love Facebook Marketplace. I always um, have my eye on certain items and a lot of times you can get some good items for free. And for me, I enjoy being able to make something with nothing. I enjoy being able to have the most and have an awesome time with free items. So I know you can go to big shops and they can add up quickly. I mean, you can get two, three, four dozen of live shrimp, um, two dozen of mud minnows, and five blue crabs. And it'll cost you easily $60. Like that, and you, you haven't even went fishing yet. That's not including any tackle. Like when you're, uh, if, in my last video, I was fishing for the sheep. Said I hooked up with one, but I got hung on something. I had to break off um, that lure that I was using. That lure is eight ninety nine, and the fuel. I mean, a gallon of non ethanol gas is almost five dollars for one gallon, and so. Going out and about, enjoying the elements can be fun, but it quickly can add up once you start including the cost of bait, tackle, fuel, snacks, your fishing license, and it adds up. So that's why I value being able to gather bait, being able to gather stuff free. It, it, it helps it, me enjoy the sport that much better. So the aquarium I'm using, it's a 40 gallon breeder and it was free. I got it off marketplace. Uh, the wood that I have found is free. Um, it, there was a piece of uh, two by four on the side of the road. So I was driving, I saw it. So I, I drive a car to work. So the next day I took my little battery powered saw and I pulled over on the side of the road and I cut it in half. And I put it in the trunk and the wife and I we're about to go out now I have my eyes scouting I found a pallet on the side of the road I mean it's so much stuff that you can just find you just look I found nets I have found um, seat cushions I have found um, bait well nets I have found fishing rods I have found minnow buckets I have found um, personal flotation devices. There's so much stuff that flies out of the uh, back of people's trucks or boats. And if you just keep your eyes peeled, then I know I was in the market for looking for the wood. So yeah, I, right now we can go to Lowe's and I could buy the wood, but I can easily spend 20, 30, maybe even $40 with today's cost of lumber. But if you just keep your eyes out and about, you can find wood on the side of the road. There are so many PVC projects that I have done in the backyard, that I have done in the garage with PVC that I have found on the side of the road. And normally, if it's a long piece of whatever, you can just move it to the side and just come back the next day. Like I said, you can cut it where you can be able to get it in your vehicle to use it. So. All right, everyone, so this is the pallet that I found on the side of the road, just keeping my eyes peeled for any free lumber on the side of the road. And looking at the way this pallet is designed, I'm just gonna keep it simple. So the aquarium that I'm setting on this pallet is 18 inches wide. So from this point, to here is roughly 19 inches so I'm just gonna 
cut this section of the pallet off. Alright everyone, so the aquarium is 36 inches long, so from point A to here point B is 36 inches long, so what I'm doing, I'm going to cut this piece out and just slide it in and make the cuts across here, so it'll be 18 inches wide and 36 inches long. The length, which is 36 inches, and then the width, which is 18, but this was right at about 18 and 3 fourths. So that's perfect. So I was driving on the side of the road, and this was laying on the side of the road. It must have fell off somebody's truck or something. And then I came back the next day, I had the the cordless saw I cut it in half and I put it in the back of the car. And these are gonna be the legs. And I watch how it look once I get it all constructed and then I give it a good sanding and then you get a good coat of paint on it. Boom. Different 
areas that I have is the water where they can stay um, hydrated, the rocks where they can hide and explore, and the sand where they can barrel and just chill out. You can see everybody just hanging out. And I have a food dish here that actually glows in the dark. So when the lights are all off, that constantly glows. So the fiddler crowds can be able to find them. So has a slidable, lockable lid. And as you can see, the reason why it's very important to have a lockable lid is look, the fiddler crabs uh, are escape artists. So if you just have a regular aquarium, they will climb out. Even if there's nothing for them to they can actually walk up the silicone in the corners of the tank to get out. So, and also you can see there's enough room back here for the wire to fit through. And as you can see, look at them all just chilling back here. And this wire here, it will climb out of and with this lockable lid, as you can see, there's no room for them to climb out of. As you can see, everyone looks very happy. The filter is just a, a internal filter that's filtering out the water and plus providing aeration to the water, as you can see. And uh, yeah, I'm very um, excited and happy with the the end result and the food that I feed them is just some crab sinking sticks and as you can see this is a picture of the filler crab and the crayfish but uh, yeah I'm very excited about this being able to have uh, filler crabs on hand I can always stop flip rocks over grab a couple bring them back accumulate a good amount when i know i have a trip coming up and we'll be fishing all day i have um, access to fill the crabs because sometimes uh, the bait shops you have to be at the mercy of if they have them or if the prices are uh, sky high um, given the demand with this peak season for sheephead but yeah so keep your eye out and about on Marketplace. You might be able to copy a free uh, tank as well. well until next time, let's catch that fish.